With a world population that continues to grow, consumer concerns about health and nutrition demand inventive solutions. Life Sciences, or biotechnology, addresses these concerns, using living organisms to improve the lives of both humans and animals. Often divided into medical, industrial, environmental, or agricultural applications, Canada's biotech sector is worth over $78 billion. Home to 44% of Canada's cultivated farmland, Saskatchewan leads the world in agricultural life sciences research and accounts for a full one-third of Canada's agricultural biotechnology industry. The province's expertise in ag biotech includes functional foods, natural health products, biofuels, bioproducts, genomics and diagnostics. And our success extends beyond the ag biotech sector to research and advancements in health, vaccine and environmental-based industries. Saskatchewan has cultivated a sophisticated research cluster that has earned international status, attracting companies and investment from around the globe. But I think what we're finding exciting about the uh, biotech community in Saskatchewan is that we're beginning to realize that agriculture is, is and, and biotech is where agriculture and health meet and intersect. Saskatchewan has a history of scientific and technical accomplishments, including the world's first genetically engineered animal vaccine and the first genetically modified commercial canola variety. Saskatchewan has the state-of-the-art infrastructure that companies and investors need for success. The entire biotech chain, beginning with innovative research through bioprocessing, analysis and commercial production, is here. Several organizations have been established to support collaboration and successful commercialization in Saskatchewan's life sciences sector. AgWest Bio enhances Saskatchewan's bio cluster, building the industrial component through startups, company growth, and attraction. The research base that has been here for a long time has led to the development and evolution of a number of companies that have now become very successful, and those companies are maturing. Genome Prairie provides leadership, support, and management for large-scale genomics and proteomics research projects that fosters the commercialization of agriculture, human and animal health breakthroughs, and products. In a nutshell, we try to catalyze and build knowledge around ag biotech, and secondly, we try to build the commercial side through investments and through company attraction. Both organizations help plug interested parties into the province's well-established biotech value chain. Saskatchewan has an extensive research and development network that spans from its universities to world-class facilities. The University of Saskatchewan is home to several life sciences colleges with extensive health and ag biotech research capacity while the University of Regina has research strengths in health, energy, and the environment. Award-winning Innovation Place Research Parks provide state-of-the-art research facilities, services, and amenities to support the growth of science and technology-related organizations. The Canadian Light Source in Saskatoon is Canada's first and only synchrotron and one of the most powerful research tools in North America allowing scientists to study the microstructure and chemical properties of materials down to the atomic level. The Saskatchewan Research Council provides applied research and development services, including its GenServe labs, which conducts DNA-based testing for plants and livestock, a bioprocessing unit, a fermentation pilot plant, and a biofuels test center. The National Research Council's Plant Biotechnology Institute helps businesses transform their original concepts into commercial products. We provide basic research and technological support for important Canadian crops like canola, like flax, and we're now getting back into cereals and we'll be working with the research community to help develop programs in wheat. The Vaccine and Infectious Disease Organization, or VEDO, develops immunity-enhancing technologies against infectious diseases. When it opens in 2011, VEDO's International Vaccine Center, a biosafety level 3 high containment test facility, will be one of the largest facilities of its kind in North America. 
Other organizations like Prairie Agricultural Machinery Institute, the Agriculture and Agri-Food Canada Saskatoon Research Centre, and the POS Pilot Plant round out the leading-edge biotech research and development services available in the province. All of these organizations are committed to forming partnerships that help bring biotech solutions and breakthroughs to the world. In the last decade, the number of life sciences companies in Saskatchewan has tripled. Thanks to industry research collaboration, new business opportunities are found in agriculture, food science and food processing technologies, pharmacy, medicine, botany, and animal sciences. Businesses like the Saskatoon Colostrum Company, which manufactures products to improve immunity and overall health in cattle, pets, and humans, and BioOriginal, a world leader in the production and distribution of high-quality essential fatty acids, have grown to an international level with worldwide markets thanks to industry partnerships. We deliver essential fatty acids to customers around the globe our major market is North America, and if you go to any retail shelf in North America, there's a high likelihood that you'll be consuming a bioregional product. These success stories are not unique. Biotech businesses, big and small, benefit from the sector's commitment to collaboration. Those kinds of support systems that are available in Saskatchewan enabled us to, to start a company with just an idea, with no capital, and really no ability to commit a lot of resources to grow to the, the situation in which we are today. Well-developed R&D infrastructure, abundant land, and a provincial government committed to a business-friendly environment have resulted in a thriving life sciences sector. The government has a strong support philosophy for this area and uh, they're very open to new ideas and they're very interested in finding funds to support new companies and new ventures and certainly to reach out and attract companies to do business here in the province. Saskatchewan offers substantial tax credits for scientific R&D and equipment purchases and the corporate tax rate is one of the lowest in the country. Innovation Place also offers facilities and services to help startup technology companies get their ideas off and running during their cash-strapped early years. This helps them continue to grow over time. Saskatchewan's economy is forecast to outperform the national average, and with strong agricultural roots and a growing core of biotech expertise, the province's life sciences sector will be a huge part of that success. Support from scientific, government, and business avenues merge to make the province one of the best places to start your bio business, with the resources, infrastructure, and partners to keep you on the leading edge.